Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. There are many things out there to, to help us heal from maybe past traumas or just want to alleviate certain things in our lives and feel better and move our lives forward. One of them is Psyche, very different than other modalities like energy healing, Reiki and things like that. We're going to talk about that today and how that can make just a not just a change, but a complete rewiring of your life and your mind. And Mary Mazur is with us. She is a Psyche instructor and facilitator. She's also a certified holistic nurse. And it's good to have you back, Mary. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing wonderful, Steve. Thank you for having me on your, your show, your beautiful show. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. You're, you're a beautiful person for what you do in, in helping people and, and just giving ideas of, of what they can do. We talked about it before, mm -hmm. just to get back into it um, today and a number of other things we're going to talk about. But first off, Psyche, I, I just ran into you at the mm -hmm. grocery store, the supermarket. Oh, Mary, how you been? You're a Psyche facilitator. What's Psyche? Yeah. yeah, I know. Isn't that awesome? Thank you for asking. Well, it's a great way to actually reprogram your subconscious mind, which is the, which is the part of you that runs 95% of everything that runs your life. It's all your habits. So Psyche is a tool that helps you edit and delete the things you don't like that's happening in your life or about how you're feeling. And then you get to insert how you want things to be. So hmm. you literally become the co-creator of your life in a very fast, effective way. So you literally get to upgrade yourself, just like personal apps. You get to actually use this as like a personal spiritual GPS app within yourself. Love yeah. it. Yeah. And for anybody that's listening right now and a little uneasy with the, the words reprogram your mind, it's don't worry about it. It's all what you want to be done. And I, I if if I first heard that, I'd be saying the same thing. I don't know. You know this is a mind control. No. Now that I know, bring that on. Get that mm -hmm. over here. Let's go. Like, can we start now? <laughs> because it's all. Oh, yeah. oh, well, because the gift is, is you're reprogramming your own mind. You're not getting programmed by other people. The, mm. the, the joke is, is that we got programmed by everybody else throughout our whole lives, especially Ooh. the first seven years. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Pre -programmed. So, what do you think the television's about? Pro, it's a television. It's telling you what to have a vision about of your life. It is a, a yeah, spelling is a, a spell. It's a spell of words. We can play a lot with this stuff. We are continuously programmed by the consciousness that is all around us in our outside world. And this is the game that we chose to live in, in the third dimension. It's actually a beautiful game is when you can get the aha moment to wake up and become an observer of yourself and recognize what the heck, what the heck's going on. And if you don't like that and what you're doing and then start realizing what I can actually begin to change how I want to respond and what I want to do and how I, what's my truth. That's the biggest question you can ask you. What do I want to believe in? And what is, what feels right for me? That's each one of us get that personal free will choice to explore that. Mm. And I always call it connecting the dots. So once you connect the dots to your past, like you just said, from age zero to seven, which pretty much dictates how your life is going to go, research that people, if you don't think I'm on point there. Um, and then the second cell is between seven and 14. Um, but once I realized that, I started digging into that and, and learning more about it. And yeah, the, it, it's like the key to your future. And that's what Psyche can help you with. And I think we talked about this last time, but it's almost like, here's your bucket. This is you of everything, emotions, all of that. If you don't get the garbage out, you can't put the good stuff, i.e. you reprogramming your mind in there. It's just not going to work. Exactly. It's the gift of right. If your hands all tight and you're, you're holding on to the old because you're so scared, how are you going to be able to fill it right with right. the new or be able to go reach for something reach that's for even something. new? Yeah, exactly. Psyche, powerful stuff. Uh, there's only what, like eight practitioners in the country. That's how specialized this uh, is. Uh, and you're one of them. How did this all come about for you? How did you how did you find Psyche? Oh, thank you for asking about that. Yeah, and it's right, the eight instructors. So there's eight instructors that actually teach this, which is such so precious. Yeah, which is great with the workshops. And then we teach people how to use this for themselves and help others. So it's like the ripple effect. Yeah, thank you. So what happened to me, I was living my life like everyone else doing our normal thing. And I'd love to actually bring it back to is that first seven years and all the stuff that we got, there is a philosophy if people are open to uh, explore this. This is what my spirit has shown me 
is that I chose my, my life. I actually chose my parents. I actually wrote my divine plan before I came here. And we live in a universe that has infinite possibilities. We get to experience all of it from the highest to the low and all of it. And the gift is, is when you can return back to home to who you really are. And that's the level of who you are. So with my little caveat, I was raised in a family of 12. I'm 11, number 11 out of 12. Yeah, good old Catholic family. <laughs> my mom did really good with her religion. <laughs> I do joke about that. And my dad was a Lieutenant Colonel in Marine Corps. So I was taught to be a Marine, especially with having seven brothers. And uh, I learned a lot of the masculine energy, a lot of be tough to go get out there and do it yourself. Get out there, kid. I got kicked out at 21 years old because I had lived in my house way too long than any of my other siblings. <laughs> well, there was no space with, uh, you know. Yeah, this is true. I know. Hear you. And my dad was just tough. And he said he just he knew that he had to make sure he gave, they gave us roots and wings to fly. And then roots to know who you are as best they could. Yet I was born in a lot of fear. My dad was a heavy drinker after coming back from Vietnam. That was his coping skill. So I had to navigate all that kind of nuttiness. And my mom used denial. That was her coping skill because she just uh, was too, she would never show anybody how she was really feeling or what's really going on. She acted like everything's just great. Oh, yes, it is. And then even though, no, it's not mom. No, it's not at all. So that's what I was raised with so I went and became a nurse I, I really wanted to help everybody else I, I became like a rescuer and then I did have I had like sexual abuse when I was younger and just a lot of like I would call it like trauma just by all the stuff I feel like I saw and I couldn't help people so I definitely love to help people so that's the gift is growing up with all of that junk and, and experiences it, it really propelled me to want to help people so I became a birth nurse loved helping moms have babies I, I worked night shift and still was able to raise four kids during the day. So I kind of got cat naps when I could. And my husband and I um, danced with that. He was a day job, you know, as an engineer. So we're living a normal, healthy life. My husband's one of 12 kids too. So we have a oh lot. Oh my of gosh. Kids. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, right? Lots of family. Lots of family. <laughs> wow. There, yeah. We could probably do Ooh. this entire podcast just on that family dynamic. But wow. Yes, okay. Totally. So we got lots of opportunity with lots of personalities and lots of yeah interactions, right? Yeah. Sure. So my husband uh, was diagnosed with leukemia when he was 45 years old. And that's actually what led me to learn Psyche. Is at the time he was 45, his dad died at 50 when they had 10 kids still at home with complications of lung cancer. And his oldest sister died with complications of brain cancer the, the same month she turned 50. So my husband in his subconscious mind believed he's checking out at 52. He never told me that. But he always kind of knew, he wondered if he's going to go out just like his dad and his sister. And this is what happens to us when we have these experiences in our life, especially when there's family lineages of stuff like cancer or, you know, heart disease or things like that. We think, well, it, we, we, we have beliefs that we're just victim to it, that that's just going to happen. We have no um, way to change it. Yeah. It's just, oh no, it's going to happen to me too. So that woke me up. And within a year, Bruce Lipton's book, Biology of Belief showed up right at my workplace on my desk at work. It's like, that's what happens to us. When you're ready for it, it will appear to you. Let and me hear that again. What yes. showed up? Bruce Lipton's book, Dr. Bruce Lipton. And he wrote the book, Biology of Belief. I highly recommend if you're ready to really learn about your subconscious mind. Hmm. The, he's a cell biologist and he the cells taught him because he was he actually taught at a um, medical school. He taught medical schools everything that they were all taught to teach and he just taught what he was taught. He taught from the belief that he was programmed with. And then his all of his research changed all of it because he says no, it's not your genes like my husband thought it was his genes from his dad that he was going to have cancer. Not at all. He took the nucleus out of the cells and he put them in different petri dishes and he changed the environment. Like for us is our blood, which is our chemicals, which is our hormones, which is every response we have from our environment, we actually create whether we're healthy or sick or whether we're having good relationships or bad relationships. We're creating all of it. And he was able to show it. And it's actually our cell membrane membranes responding to all of the responses of our life. And we get free will choice of how we respond. Are we going to respond in fear or love? So a lot of the fear we all got, now we're shifting into the love energy, the ones that want to ascend here and return back to unity. So Reading Bruce's book, at the end of his book, he talked about Psyche, because Psyche actually tr massively transformed his life. It's his number one go-to. He recommends lots of them. If you go to brucelipton.com's website. And I, I honor that because there are lots of ways and people are going to find the right ways for, for their uh, healing journeys and their help um, in, in then just their expansive journeys. So because... Psyche was the one that helped him leave his old way of living. And then now he goes across the world and helps people educate them greatly about, all uh, right, how wonderful we actually really are and how powerful we are based on 
exactly about how your subconscious mind runs everything. And then he recommends to go, go change those limiting beliefs that are blocking you from your greatness. Okay. And uh, that's, so I, within reading that book, I went to a site K basic workshop. This is what I teach now for others too. I didn't go for myself. That's what was funny is the joke was on me because I was taught by my mom to be selfless. Oh, of course I was. Oh, heck yeah. Think of yourself last, put everybody else first. Oh, you're doing okay. My mom taught her. She, she acted like everything was okay when it wasn't. And so I got that too. I, I got all those beliefs from my mom example. And my mom's a beautiful lady. She survived. She did the best she could. But I had a break out of that. So the biggest gift is that my husband wanted nothing to do with it because he thought it was woo-woo and thought it was weird. And uh, he thought he would just have to figure it out himself because that's what his beliefs were. So it took about three years. And he had to go into his dark place until he was ready to burst out. So that he gave me the gift to start working with myself. And it's really funny as I started, I said, okay, I'm going to use Psyche for myself so that I can get really good at it. So when he is ready, we can really fly because <laughs> I really wanted to help him self-heal. And then within literally within a few weeks of using it, you can, you can learn this tool to use it. It takes maybe five minutes. You can open up five, 10 minutes a day and start making these little massive changes within you. So I actually broke apart within me. I didn't think I was worthy enough because of with like the sexual abuse when I was younger and, um, and the fact that I um, didn't feel like I had a voice because I was told, you know, don't you're not, you know, not supposed to only the older ones or the authorities have a voice like younger ones don't have a voice. I didn't feel like I was good enough. I was taught to be a perfectionist. My dad was like, had very high standards. I could never reach those standards. So I'm always judging myself and being self-critical. I never knew I even had any of that. That's how I denial I was in. I thought I was doing pretty good, which is really funny. So, you know what I, I, it's, I don't know if we can call it denial. You just don't know. You know, if, if you know, then you're denying it, but if you didn't know, you know, it's, it's, you just, you're doing your life and you don't see those things. You even just said something before that resonated with me that I'm the, I'm the, I take care of everybody except mm -hmm. myself. And ah. you just connected a potential dot for me. That's my mom. She was like that. She always, you know, she didn't take care of herself. It was always, you know, for her kids and everybody else. And I, I, I think I got that too. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of us did. And, 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 and it's all beautiful because we're all experiencing here. Yeah. The hard part comes in is, yeah, when you actually have what will happen is life's going to present stuff to you to wake you up. And for my husband, it got him sick. That's what helped me. Yeah. And then for me, when I started working with myself, I wouldn't let myself feel I had to shut off my feelings. I closed off my heart because my dad told me, if you cry, I'll give you something to cry about, kid. So I sucked it up. I still don't cry a whole lot, but I, I do cry more than I ever did before. It wasn't safe for me to cry. It wasn't safe for me to share my true angers because what I'd see my dad get super explosive. I don't want to be like that. So I would shut my own anger down so I wouldn't go hurt somebody else like he like beat the crap out of my brother or something like that that I saw. So you, we learn these things. But then the thing is, when you start holding all those emotions, you're going you're gonna to be burying them in your body and your body's going to let you know. So I had a lot of like stress related health issues. So I had the psoriasis where you have all the crusty stuff all over your head and it's super itchy and scratchy and eczema. So mine all stress related was with my skin. Mm -hmm. I had the carpal tunnel. So I had to um, wear like braces on my wrist and the TMJ because I was like, de like, you know, jamming my jaw together to try and calm myself. My nervous system was so stressed out. I was in high stress alertness all the time. And, and I, 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 I want to jump in there real quick. Yeah. Why do you think that happened? Was it just because I call it your, your emotional bucket was so full that you couldn't take any more in or process anymore? And it just got to the point where I just can't deal. Well, it's beautiful because that's how our nervous system and our body system works. I was, I was born during the civil rights crisis in 1968 in Washington, DC, in the middle of the time when they were burning down streets as I'm growing in my mom's belly. So the last trimester of pregnancy, we get all the emotions of what their mom has in the environment around them. So I got fully inundated with, with fear completely. I was born in fear. And so my nervous system to respond to fear is going to always be on overdrive. It's all, I was always on overdrive. I could never relax. I was always tense. I was always, I would be fun and overjoyed and stuff because that was a great way to enjoy life. But then I could get right. Exactly. We get on, you've, you've met people like I'm sure how I used to be. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you know, uh, full disclosure, maybe not me to that degree, but I worried about everything and I haven't done, I haven't done the psyche yet, but mm. me, too, me too, but was like that. And I kind of let a lot of that go ulcer. Um, same kind yeah. of thing. You had psoriasis and other things, you know, 
Totally. Okay. Yeah. I had varicose veins. I felt overwhelmed. Exactly. Yeah. Varicose veins was great. I did surgery on my left leg before I knew Psyche. After Psyche, I did Psyche balances. So we call, I actually was able to connect with the wisdom within me. That's what Psyche offers for you because you have the answers actually with you within your divine um, knowingness. Yeah. Or, or it's in your subconscious. Subconscious. Well, your subconscious will show you where those limiting beliefs are and then you get to change them. So I did so that I felt no longer felt overwhelmed anymore. I'm actually at peace and I always get the help I need. And my right leg completely healed. Like this is flipping awesome. My psoriasis, three psyche balances and my whole head goes back to healthy again. I go, I think I like this tool. Wow. Like, I don't wear a, a, my mouth guard. I don't wear you know, wraps for my wrists anymore. I can be flexible and go. You literally can shift your body. You can shift all your emotions. You can shift all your mental and your relationships and your finance. You can do it in every area of your life. And it's up to you what you want to change and the pace you want to do it. So this is where some people may get little results. Some maybe get massive results because we're engaging this. We are the directors, the, the um, actors, the producers of our own life that we're creating. Amazing. So now I have to sold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So how many sessions typically and how long are they when you do Psyche? Oh yeah. Thank you for that. I typically offer 60 minute sessions, sometimes an hour and a half. I actually have done two hour ones, but it's a lot. You're doing like a mini marathon within yourself. And I have done, I have created beliefs within myself to know I only work with people that are ready for the changes. So I don't work with somebody unless they're ready for the changes. Otherwise that's a waste of time. And it actually helps them show more of their self-sabotaging beliefs. So I'm like, no, you can go dance with somebody else with that. If you're going to work with me, that means you're ready. That's huge. Yeah. That's what I do with myself. I'm ready for changes. I like, I like um, to expand and to have new experiences. So, and then for some people, it may just be a tune up. They might be like just blocked and frustrated. They don't, they're, you know, there's a lot of things going on and they just don't have a lot of clarity for what, for how to make the best choices in their life. It may just be one psyche session can do that. Um, other people, um, right. If you have fourth stage cancer, I helped a woman and within five months, she self healed her whole body and she, she's tapped into her joy instead of wanting to leave this planet. And so, um, and that, that she's, and she was one that likes to do things in intensity. So she certainly did that. So, and my husband took 14 years until he healed himself fully from, from the leukemia. So he took the longer path and that worked perfect for him. We're going to do whatever works. You work at the pace you want to go. And then there's others that use psyche and they still cross over and transition and die. And the psyche helped them on a spiritual level to prepare for that or maybe their next experience. So it's all game. I love it when people come to workshops because they take, they take the self-responsibility to learn for themselves. So that's at a whole nother bar. Um, if you're one like me that likes to take responsibility and like to create the best life you want to do, I'm like, I don't need anyone else to do it for me. I'm going to do it for myself. Heck yeah. And I love that. Like to me, bring it on. And, uh, and then I also do get help from others. Like there's another psyche instructor that she and I help each other. Cause it's beautiful to get the help from someone else. And when you can use something that, you know, you can never be blocked anymore and anything happening in your life, it's actually an opportunity for you to actually grow into more of your true essence, more of, of another aspect of you that maybe you didn't know for yourself, which might be a, a, another level of just maybe grace or love, or, you know, um, I know just magnificence. What's interesting is everything that we're talking about and any funny, anybody that's, that's watching, listening, and you're thinking, oh, that's foo-foo stuff there. Come on. That's a, you're coming from a medical background as well. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of blending the two together, you know, with Psyche and your medical knowledge and seeing both sides of it. And yeah, there's a lot of things you can do medically with a doctor, maybe medication if that's needed. Um, mm -hmm. But this, you know, in terms of all of the energy healing, well, you know what? Let me go back to one thing you just said a second ago. You got to want it. You talk mm -hmm. to any hypnotherapist, mm -hmm. they, they don't want to work with you if you if you don't truly want it. Like, for example, you know, if your partner calls up the hypnotherapist, yeah, I'm going to get him in there. We got you got to stop smoking. We got to work on it. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work. You got to yeah. genuinely want to make that change, right? That's exactly it. Yeah. And what happened with my husband is it took about three years and he went to see his doctor and exactly psyche is a beautiful compliment for whatever you do. Okay. It doesn't mean you only do psyche, you know, so yes, you can still totally work with doctors. The medical profession offers a lot of great stuff and it's wherever your beliefs are. My husband felt, yes, he did need to take the medication that they offered. That was very important for him. He was too scared to not do it that way. Um, people have done it without it and they've, they've done great with uh, not ever using any of the medical profession and found, found their way to help themselves self-heal. 
if you use it, it's all, it can be just as beautiful. It's whatever your free will choice is. So for him, he's taken the meds, but it made him feel like all his joy went away. He felt terrible. His doctor wanted him to put him on stronger meds with more side effects so he can get better results because they didn't like the results of the first one. So I asked this doctor, um, please explain to me of why you want to already do more of what already doesn't work very well. And I smiled. <laughs> And he didn't have an answer. And that's what woke my husband up because it was like, finally, he had to finally realize the path. He was, are you going to continue to go on the same path? You can get the help from the doctors. They help with symptoms, but they don't get to the source of what's going on. It's yep. our self-responsibility to get to the source of what's going on because we created it. It's also our responsibility to want and be willing to change it. And that's the gift here. And we can, and you can do it more easily and more gently mm -hmm. with psyche. <laughs> And no side effects. And, and no side effects. Thank you very much. Very good you. side effects, by the way. <laughs> and then when we talk about, you know, meds and yeah, there's a place for them. Fantastic. You know, we're lucky to be in the place where we are medically, you know, healthcare system. That's a whole other podcast, but whatever. Yeah. Um, that being said, a lot of people resort to meds. You know, I'm, I'm going to go to a therapist. I'm going to go to a psychiatrist. And mm -hmm. normally you, know, you go to a psychiatrist, usually you're going so they can go like this and hand you or, or, or send it off to your pharmacy. But like you, you just said, Mary, all it is is a, a bandaid. It's a mask. You're not getting to the core of what needs to get done or fixed. And if that doesn't work, okay, then, then meds. Yeah, we got them. Right. Right. Exactly. And then like with a wound, for example, this is a great now, is that like, as being a nurse, um, if you have a wound, you really like slice up your arm. Okay. And, um, one it's, it's vital it's vital that you clean it. If you do not clean that wound, it will get so infected. It'll go right into your bones. You'll get sepsis and you'll die. That's actually what can happen. <laughs> yeah. So we have to clean the wounds. Okay. So that's the biggest wake up call for people. If something's going on, if shit's happening in your life, it's time to clean it up. And maybe, you know, and then you'll find your ways to do that. Psyche helps greatly with that. Once you clean the wound, it is very beautiful to bandage the wound, put a bandaid on the wound. Absolutely. So the, the medical profession is beautiful for that. For my husband, it's exactly what he needed for his journey of self-healing is those bandages. The medication he took was exactly what was helpful for him. Okay. You don't have to have a bandage on a wound. It will still heal on its own. But you know what? If you're going to bump into stuff and do stuff and still live your life, it's really good to have a bandage that protects it. <laughs> so tell me, to a psyche... How long has it been around and when did you or when did it find you? Oh, thank you for asking that. So it was in the late 80s. Um, I think it was 88, late 88, 89. Rob Williams is the originator of Psyche. He, he calls himself the originator because he's the conduit. He actually received it. It was a spiritual download for him. He was a psychotherapist and he was frustrated because he really wasn't helping people at the level he wanted to. It was talk therapy. Talk therapy is beautiful for awareness and you need to change the beliefs at the subconscious level of the mind. So he got really mad at himself for something he was doing. And so he started really raging and yelling at God. So he received Psyche, not when he was in the Zen moment, but when he was fucking pissed off. So excuse my language, but he was pissed. Yes. And sometimes then, it takes that. Yes. And well, it was. And when he did that, and that's exactly sometimes when you can really let yourself feel, he literally got the downloads in a holographic form and he's not visual, he's auditory. So he's like, what? And he types it in. It took him a few months from what I understand. Um, him doing and then he started he worked with it with himself and then he started uh, working with his clients and, and the best part is that his um his co-workers were saying hey rob what are you doing you're doing something different because you're seeing clients for a few weeks and then you're seeing new ones like they're having long lasting change yes he's not seeing them for 10 and 20 years now he's like that's when he knew that this this, this works and he received a boatload it's called the core belief balance it's one we teach in the advanced workshop and then he was able to bring it down to more of a basic level to have people at a beginning stage because it's important to begin one step at a time for the transformations we're ready to make. Yeah, so it's it's absolutely that's that's so then that's how um, it came into this world. It took nine years until he was ready to, um, you know, we we the world were ready to receive it in workshops. So I mean, Rob Williams is such a um, an angel on this um, planet, and I'm so grateful for him for doing all that he's done to keep it pure. It's very, it has stayed very pure. That's why people can't learn a lot how to use it because you have to actually go through the gateway of the workshops. It's a gateway within you. You are actually accessing your true essence within you, and there's there's gateways that we um, offer in each workshop. Mm -hmm. And you found it when? Oh, and then I found it in 2010. So it's been 12 years for me. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yes. And it's been a magnificent journey because we're at how I used to be to who I am now. And I love all of it. I love my old self too. I was a badass. I was, 
I would, I kind of drove people crazy because I was way, I was not grounded at all. I was woohoo and nuts in a, in a funny way. It was just me. It was normal for me, but a lot of people couldn't handle it. <laughs> so it kind of grounded you, but it also, it helped you um, really connect. I'm thinking with your past, because you had a lot of stuff going on um, to bring you where you are today. What totally. if you didn't do, and we just have a, a, like a, a minute left here, but I'm kind of curious if you didn't do Psyche, mm -hmm. not, not, I'm not talking about learning it, but doing it like just mm -hmm. any, just regular person, what would you do? Would it be, would it be psychotherapy? Would it be hypnotherapy? Mm. Would it be Reiki? Mm. What do you think? Yeah, for me, where I was, I mean, for religion was really important for me, the, the Christian faith that I grew in. So that was my strength. And it still is. It, it, I just do it more mystically now, not from any rules that we have. So um, prayer, I mean, prayer and reading good books. That's actually where I was as far as going to workshops and morning like leadership stuff and things like that. I wasn't ready to step into these higher levels like like Psyche and Reiki and, and um, higher energy level things. So, and, you know, I would have had a still good life. I, I would have, but I would, I would not be where I am right now. And um, I would never trade it for the world. Are you kidding me? I, I would, I would say absolutely. Yes. I'm so grateful beyond measure that I said, yes. And that's all it is. It's a decision to say yes. And you just come and, or you just experience a session, you make a change and then you just go again or learn how to use it for yourself. And, and you'll realize how you'll realize how amazing you are and that how what, what a precious gift each one of you here are for this planet. Wow. Uh, good stuff today. And I wasn't aware that it's you've been you've been connected with Psyche for for 12 years. I thought it was maybe, you know, a couple. You know, sometimes I talk to people and they try new things. And so you've got your feet entrenched in it. It's your mm -hmm. thing. And you you know it quite well. But you also come from a medical background. If somebody wants to uh, to learn more, your website, what, what's um, what's the web address? Thank you. Ignite and heal your life, L-I-F-E dot com. So ignite and heal your life, L-I-F-E dot com. And I am offering a workshop this weekend in Louisville, Kentucky, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the 19th to the 21st. And there are still spots open if someone wants to. This is what happens. People work fast. And if you do go on my website, you'll see what it is. You register, you show up. And next thing you know, your life begins to change in, in beautiful, amazing ways. But certainly <laughs> if somebody just wants to have a, a session with you, a Psyche session, they can reach out on your website and, or if they have questions, they can find you there too, right? Exactly. I have a contact me on button and then they can send me a contact me message. And then they have all about the private sessions. If they're just ready, just to begin just one-on-one -on -one with me. I'm, I'm very grateful. And, it, and it's a joy to assist people at this time. Well, mm -hmm. it's a joy talking with you, and uh, I truly appreciate your story. Mm -hmm. It's wow, and the fact that <laughs> your husband is from this tw uh, family of twelve too is just. Um, I know. <laughs> you guys are meant. Know. You guys are meant for each other in, in a lot of ways, and and you were there to help him through his challenges, and likewise. So, uh, mm -hmm. and you're there to help people as well with Psyche. So, ignite and heal your life. dot com. Mary, great talking with you today. You too. Thank you so much. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.